What's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of the chip videos this week. If you guys have not seen part one, whenever this video does come out, please go take a look at part one. That link should be back on my channel. Um, for those of you guys who did jump in early, who clicked on the link, who watched the full first video, what's going on, guys? You guys can watch this video much earlier. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching the video to its entirety. I appreciate you guys, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video as well. So let's just get right into it. If you haven't already, guys, smash the like button, engage the video. If you want to trade with us, link in the description below. You already know that jazz. Here we go. Let's start off here with NVIDIA. Seeing as NVIDIA is the name of the game for this short week ahead of us on Wednesday, they do have earnings in the after hours. I want to start off here by looking at the expected move for NVIDIA. Now, this expected move, the move that is being priced into these options at this time, is currently showing that NVIDIA is having it is going to be priced into having a 9.46% move. I would estimate that at the time of the earnings, which means on Wednesday, they're probably going to be pricing in roughly a 10.5 to an 11.5% move. Move, which is roughly going to be about you know 70 plus dollars for the expected move there that is what they're pricing in meaning if you buy calls or puts and you get the direction right but it doesn't quite pan out to being that much of a move you will still be in the risk of being red on the play because these are going to be very volatile and expensive options please keep that part in mind some of the other names that are expected to have earnings, Rivian's also expected to have earnings on Wednesday in the after hours. They have a 13.25% expected move there. Lucid is also as well. They have a 16.5% expected move there. So as you guys can see there, those moves are significantly lower in regards to the actual dollar change. Uh, for NVIDIA, that 9% move, although it is young, it is uh, lower than 1316, is the equivalent of having a 68 plus percent uh, dollar move right there. So that's going to be a pretty significant move in the market. But with NVIDIA right now, Looking on the daily, we're in this consolidation pattern here before. Very similar to the same consolidation pattern here we saw, you know, back here at, at the end of December into January. And we also saw a pretty significant consolidation pattern here uh, in around the earnings season. All right. So uh, their last earnings, I should say, were this point in time, guys, the big kicker to me would be if they do not have a significant move, right? They've been getting so many price hikes going into this move here. It would be shocking to me if they were to be able to continue to knock things out the park after getting these price hike ratings and then still outperform, right? So if they get a price hike rating of 800, 1100, 1200, and at the time of the earnings, right now they're trading at 726, right? So let's just say at the earnings they're trading at like 775. Let's just say they have a 775 to 800. Let's just say they have a decent run up towards the earnings, right? I don't know if the earnings will allow them to, for the stock to move up you know, 200 bucks, 300 bucks after earnings. So I don't know if we're going to see that, that blow out the water kind of move there. I would suspect that we would see a underwhelming kind of move for the earnings. And this is just my speculation based off of just my thesis. But of course, you know, anything can happen, guys. Earnings is a coin toss, as you guys know that. So be very careful there. For those of you guys who are looking to get some sort of exposure there, of course, feel free to play shares right? It's just, it's just a, a lot less volatile way of getting some exposure. There's no implied volatility you have to worry about. There's no expiration, no theta. Several of the, you know, the option grease will just not simply affect you. And then you can, of course, get in and get out during the after hours and free market as you guys see fit. You don't have to wait for market hours. So there's a, you know, other ways of kind of making sure you can capitalize off of this. Also, sympathy plays. Sympathy plays will be ways of cap capitalizing off of the up or down moves with this name that is going to be responsible for so many chips that move in the after hours on Wednesdays by simply looking at the other chip names that do not have earnings because the implied volatility with those names, one of the uh, ways to judge and value options, of course, will not be as high because those other names will not have earnings. Those names are... SMCI, right? This is the stock that just came up from being at $1,077 on Friday and closing at as high as $1,077 and closing at $803. Significant pullback. I played puts here uh, on Friday, made up roughly 400% off one contract. It was fun. Had a huge gap to fill. It filled two gaps there on Friday. There are a few more gaps to fill on the downside, but we're not going to get into that right now. At this point in time, guys, I think I'll be looking for uh, SMCI to have a little bit of a rebound back up towards at least at least that $900 level here before NVIDIA does have earnings. So we'll see how the market opens on, on Tuesday, sorry, not Monday, Tuesday, short week. But I would expect there to be a little bit more upside here. Like if I'm going to pull up this uh, Fibonacci retracement, just simply from what we've seen as of recently, like this is the move that we've seen here 
we could come back down towards that 9 EMA or that 0.38 and get a little bit of a bounce back up towards that 895, $900 level there. And then we kind of see where we go with Nvidia earnings after that. But in regards to the downside move here, it was a huge engulfing bearish candle, high volume sell off there with uh, SMCI, a healthy pullback that I think a lot of people were looking for. But it simply is pulled back down towards that 9 EMA. We could see consolidate here and then, you know, have a push back up towards seeing higher highs down the line, especially if Nvidia does have positive earnings. Okay. On to the next one, guys. And we're running through um, Nvidia, SMCI, and AMD, MU, ARM, and then of course TSM to kick it off, right? To end it off. But uh, let's keep it going here. AMD had a wonderful flag pattern here. I was pretty bearish with AMD two weeks ago, early in the week, and it kind of kept seeing, you know, buyers step in and step in and step in. The one day we had a little bit of a gap down on Tuesday of last week, we saw buyers really step in there pretty strong and push this thing right back up to the top of the flag. So if AMD can maintain above this 9 EMA here, I could see a move back up here towards 185 heading towards Nvidia's earnings. So that's just, you know, between Tuesday and Wednesday's price action dates. This is definitely gonna be one of the names to watch for a sympathy play if you are looking to take advantage of it. Um, because this is one of those names where, you know, as it stands right now, I'm just gonna extend this flag out a little bit. It is holding on to a key level of support here. I can see this bouncing back up here to get back up towards that 185, 190 level there in no time, right? As long as, of course, NVIDIA's earnings are uh, positive, right? It doesn't even have to be knock out the park, but positive. MU, one of the weaker chip names here. Now, AMD is one of the names that I'd look to for some upside, along with ARM, but we'll get to that afterwards, if NVIDIA were to have good earnings. If NVIDIA were to have bad earnings, I'd probably be looking for puts on this name. I did play puts with MU uh, on Thursday, swinging on to Friday. Um, a pretty significant size move there. We had three, basically three days of consolidation or two days of, of consolidation um, in this like kind of like bear pennant look there for MU before ultimately seeing a beautiful breakdown on Friday. I could see this thing come back down towards roughly around 75.33 with that, you know, increasing volume on the sell-off if things do not go correct or bullish for NVIDIA, all right? So in regards to the names that I can see more upside, SMCI and AMD, where I think they could potentially be some of the biggest benefactors of a positive earnings for NVIDIA, MU is... is yeah, until MU has earnings and we can see something come around here, um, MU has been one of the names that I that I probably played short on for semiconductors the most over the last little while here. For ARM, I think this is very simple for me at this point in time. For those of you guys from the Discord, you guys know that I've been trading it a lot recently. It's consolidating um, pretty well here. As long as it remains above 126.50, I'm bullish on this name. And that's as straightforward as it gets. I'm not really interested in playing the downside with ARM, um, but I am interested in playing the upside, right? This was the uh, the high, the day high from the post earnings day rally. So that you know it had earnings, uh, it went up forty seven point eight nine percent that day. Um, at the height of the earnings day for ARM, it was up roughly. 62.89%. Now that weekly high, that daily high, which was a weekly high, um, is a level that I'm looking at as a key level of support here. And you know, ARM has held that as level of support for one, two, three days in a row here. So I'm just looking to see, as long as we can see buyers stepping in below that 126.50 level there, I'd love to play the long side here, upside with ARM. Once it breaks back down below that on the daily and gets some follow through, I'd probably sit on the sidelines for a little bit there. If it does feel a gap back down towards roughly that $79, $78 level at all, and things are still looking phenomenal from you know a fundamental perspective and from a you know a structural perspective, I guess like if the CEO and the C suite still the same and you know the board is still the same, nothing too much has changed with this company outside of the price action. I probably look to start buying some shares in around that $78 to $80 level there. Now TSM is something that I think is interesting. Um, not a name that I've seen talk, talk, spoken about recently, but I'm probably going to clear off this chart and just start fresh here. But this is something where I think, you know, there, there, there could be a lot of upside here and I would absolutely love to see it, um, after NVIDIA has earnings, right? This is something where I think like, you don't have to get involved in, uh, in every single chip name. So this is probably one of the names that I've traded, chip names I've traded the least, but this is also one of the names that I think could potentially be looking at a significant amount of upside here, especially if we're looking at a little bit of this inverse head and shoulder pattern here shaping up. I can see there being a little bit of downside here, but as long as this, you know, key level of, uh, of uh, I would say, consolidation or chop where it was back here in, in 2021, right? But as long as we can maintain this little, this little right shoulder here, I think there could be some substantial upside with TSM over the next little while here, despite whatever happens with NVIDIA. So this is nothing I'm going to action this week. 
Um, but this is definitely something I'm going to keep my eye on. If we do see a little bit of pullback in, in here, I probably end up scooping up some shares here as well, just for that outside move, whether it comes, you know, six months or 12 months from now. This is definitely one that I'll be watching over the next little while here, guys. So that's what I got for you guys right now for the chips. Quick recap. NVIDIA earnings this week, 50-50, obviously a coin toss. But that being said, I could see this simply not moving as much as the expected move currently has it. SMCI, I do see SMCI seeing an attempt to bounce back. I could definitely see higher highs coming, especially if NVIDIA has great earnings. AMD, if I'm going to be playing a sympathy play long for NVIDIA, this would be the long play. If I'm going to be playing short, I'd probably be looking for MU. I don't know what your opinions are. This is just mine at this point in time. Following that, I do have ARM as probably the stock that I do like to trade the most out of all the chips, just because I guess the price point and of course, you know, is not as cluttered of a play as some of these other names are. And then TSM, definitely something to watch over the long term here to see if it can hold up and really give us a, an A plus setup here to go long down the line. All right, guys. So my name is Tim. I am the Mass Investor. Thank you guys very much for tuning in right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was short. Uh, actually, wasn't really a short video, but I did want to run through these ones a little bit differently uh, as we head towards earnings. All right. Much love. See you guys on the flip side.